Hello there. In this video, I will explain glycerol metabolism. What is glycerol metabolism? Glycerol metabolism is the conversion of glycerol to dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Glycerol metabolism occurs in the liver and kidneys. There are two steps involved in glycerol metabolism. Step 1 involves the conversion of glycerol to glycerol 3 phosphate. Step 2 involves the conversion of glycerol 3 phosphate to dihydroxyacetone phosphate. The first step of glycerol metabolism involves the conversion of glycerol to glycerol 3 phosphate. This is made possible by the enzyme, glycerol kinase. In step 1, one ATP molecule, or adenosine triphosphate, is added to a primary hydroxyl group of glycerol. This process is called phosphorylation. Phosphorylation is the addition of a phosphoryl group to a molecule. Since one ATP molecule is used during phosphorylation, the ATP becomes ADP or adenosine diphosphate. To recap, these are the key points in step 1. Glycerol kinase is active. Adenosine triphosphate is consumed. A phosphorylation reaction occurs. The products of step 1 are glycerol 3-phosphate and adenosine diphosphate. The second step of glycerol metabolism involves the conversion of glycerol 3-phosphate to dihydroxyacetone phosphate. This is made possible by the enzyme glycerol 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. A dehydrogenase removes hydrogen atoms from a particular molecule. The reaction is aided by the coenzyme nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. The dehydrogenase causes the nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide to oxidize with the secondary alcohol group. During oxidation, hydrogen atoms are lost. The removal of the hydrogen atoms will result to a double bond of the second carbon. Meanwhile, the hydrogen in the second alcohol group will transfer to the nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. This will produce the nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide plus a free hydrogen ion. This is how the dihydroxyacetone phosphate is produced. To recap, these are the key points in step 2. Glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase is active. A secondary alcohol group is oxidized with a ketone. The products of step 2 are dihydroxyacetone phosphate and nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide plus a free hydrogen ion. Dihydroxyacetone phosphate can be used to form glucose, which is the major source of energy for our body cells.